Um, but let's focus now just on the drums to get um, the balance a little bit there. So let's turn off everything else and go to the drums. So let's bring down everything. Let's focus just on the kick. Let's bring in a little bit of EQ. Maybe let's add a little bit of 5K. And maybe a little bit of bottom end, 60, around 3 dB. Without it. And well. All right, I like that. Let's bring also in the snare. A little brighter. Just a little bit. Let's see what the low cut is doing. It. Maybe we take it away later. Um, let's also add a little bit of, let's see, 100. Get a little bit more bottom end in the snare. Found it. So um, with the kick parallel and the snare parallel, I'm going to bring that in later. Um, let's focus now on the overheads. Spread them a little bit more. Sounds about right. Let's add also a little bit of top end. Let's see low cut. Nope, no low cut. Let's see three K. Just a little bit. Found it. And with. And with. Just make it a little bit brighter. All right. Let's see room. Let's focus the room. Also add a little bit of a bottom end. Without it. And with. Let's see the air drums. Right. Then let's see what the percussion is doing. So before I do any compression, 
Um, on the drums itself, I always try to write the volume first and get the EQ right. Let's add a little bit of 8K or let's say 7K. Found it. And with. Without. And with also low cut. more. All right. That sounds quite good. Let's see overall. Okay, drums are way too quiet. Also bring in now a little bit of compression on the master bus, so all the drums go to the drum bus here, and I have inserted here um, the Teal Ebony, the A2, Teal Audio. So let's bring in the compressor. Let's go to four to one maybe. Um, slow it back and fast release. Without it. And with. Let's also add a little bit of EQ. Kind of like a little bit of a smiley curve. Out. And with. So both. A little darker sounding, a little bit more spank. Let's also add the tube stage. Drive it a little bit. I like that. Once more. Out all the three. Quite nice. Let's check again. Right, you might have to do quite a bit of compression with the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar. And let's go now to the bass. 